Ashmi here and today I am unboxing Goo Goo Dolls Act 3 first single album Choco Chocolate Factory. Choco Chocolate Chocolate Factory. And this is the cutest album in the entire world. I actually have kind of sucked this month at paying attention to other groups besides Super Junior and Monster X. It's all completely my fault. I'm well aware. It's just everything has been like too much has been going on and I've just been too invested in my ultimates. But this album came out, this song came out, and I hadn't seen like any of the teasers. And I love this concept, this Charlie and the Chocolate Factory concept. Um, which is like basically all I knew about this album was that it was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory concept. So I'm so happy and I bought this. And I'm definitely like in a Goo Goo Dawn mood right now because I'm watching School 2017, which has Sejong in it. She's a member of Goo Goo Dawn. So yeah. And also, Kim Nyang is one of my top female biases. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and open this. It's so little, I'm so excited. So this is Gudan's first single album, Act 3. And yeah, I'm super, super excited to have this. I love this because the slipcase is a chocolate bar and it looks like someone took a bite out of it. So cute. Let me just take my photo cards. Are there two? I think there's two. So under that, it's just a normal digi pack, and there's four songs, including the Choco instrumental. But you know, I don't really count instrumentals as songs, so three songs. Um, I've heard all of them, and they're all so good, really. I'm also so happy that Soe was able to take part in the vocals for this album, even though she's not in this comeback. Promoting with them due to an injury, which is super sad, but. Yeah. I just feel like it would be really weird if she wasn't here at all. Hana. Sejung. I'm watching her drama right now, like I said. Um, and I really, really like it. <laughs> Nayang. She's my bias. I love her so much. She was my number one Produce 101 Season 1 girl. Hyeyeon. Haven. Mimi. Mimi keeps throwing me off with her short hair this comeback because I at first was like, who is that? Sally. Sally's throwing me off with the dark hair this comeback too. Minna. She's so cute. But yeah, not to be that person who compares, but this song and concept gives off very orange caramel vibes. And we all know that Pledis is never going to revive orange caramel. So somebody needs to take over the really, really cute, funky, large food <laughs> um, concept. And I think Goo Goo did a really, really good job. Sejong, you're so cute. I just really like am obsessed with her. Like I really, like she's cool and all, but on Produce 101, I was like, I see why everyone likes you. But like, I just have always been very Kim Nayong biased. But I've like really, really fallen in love with her character on the drama and I'm like, yeah. I go through periods where I don't watch dramas and then suddenly I'm watching a drama and I'm like, oh my gosh, why don't I watch dramas all the time? And then I'm like, oh, it's because I don't have any time to watch dramas between all of the other things I do. But I've given up sleep to watch this. It's so cute. I love the little Hershey kiss and... They all look so good this comeback. I'm really happy that Gugudon had another comeback this year, especially after Vix. I think Vix said they want to come back in like January or February. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, well then Gugudon can get another comeback this year, can't they? Just to kind of promote them a little more. I mean, Sejong is promoted fine, but the other members I feel like aren't promoted great and I think that's mostly just because of the large demand for Sejong and then Minna afterwards um so hopefully if they keep if they do really really well I'm not sure how this song is doing but it's hard during really really busy months to tell how songs do because it's just so busy um but hopefully they can get a little more exposure and yeah so, this came with two photo cards. I'm going to show you the ad first, though. Goo Dawn things usually come with two photo cards, and this time they're the same size, which is super cool, because they've had big ones in the past. 
So, oh, it says it on the back. So, I got Heian, and I feel like I pull her a lot. But, super cute, Mome. And then the other card is Nayeon. Oh my gosh. That's so exciting. I dropped it. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can Nayeon. Young. That's so good because I think I'm behind on collecting her cards. No, maybe I'm okay. Maybe I'm just missing like one. I think I'm missing her act one small card. Because I pulled her act one big card. <sighs> but finding act one cards is really hard because nobody really bought that album. So, yes, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh. So, Heian is up for trade for Nayang's version of this pink back card. Please, please let me know if you'd like to trade. But yeah, I'm super excited to have this album. I really, really like it, like I said. And I'm just happy Goo Goo were able to get one more comeback in this year. And I'm really happy with this concept. I think it's like really quirky and funny. And it's not like they didn't do that in their past album um nuggets and a they did a similar kind of like funny kind of concept but yeah i love this i hope they continue to do concepts kind of like this in the future if you haven't heard their song do go check it out it's so so good i'm obsessed with it and i love all these girls so much so yeah thank you so much for watching this unboxing if you want to see what else i have coming because i just bought a package and i have a buy package coming so possible haul video in the future um go ahead and look in the description box down below and yeah i will see you guys very very soon bye